Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Civilization V, A Brave New World as the Ottomans. And uh, you can see we're back at number one for everything except for soldiers. Uh, we did find out that our little friend that we found is almost, well he is the worst in manufactured goods, which that's unfortunate for him I guess. But uh, I mean other than that it's pretty much the same. Um, as what we've been looking at. So let's get to it. Let's adopt a policy. So we've already finished the Liberty Tree uh, and we've got the bonus for uh, adopting that which we went and got a great profit and started our own religion. So we have a couple options now. We could either go with tradition which would be great for a really small empire. It even says it in the um, description here. The only thing that intrigues me about this is it says that our border expansions in cities will uh, be greater, which would be nice. But other than that, I'm not too interested in tradition. Um, and I definitely don't want to put all five points into it because they focus mainly on your capital. And since we have, well, we will have a bunch of other cities. Um, right now we have a total of seven, I believe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we have seven cities right now. Um, we're kind of more expansionist than uh, traditionist. So let's look at the other ones that are available. We can go with honor, uh, which gives us a bonus to fighting barbarians, generally makes our army stronger. Um, and this is particularly appealing to me. Gold cost of upgrading military units reduced by 33% and we construct all of the uh, military XP buildings 50% faster. That would be nice. Um, but that's really the only thing that interests me in this tree and I don't know that I want to put five points into it right now. Um, patronage is nice because of city-state friendship but considering we're only buttering up one city-state right now I don't know that I want to dump points into it again. Um, I'm not too worried about our culture right now. It, it is a decent um, thing to dump points into because then we could, of course, get more policies quicker. Um, but I'm honestly eyeing piety. Uh, it increases the faith of empires. Uh, adopting piety allows you to build shrines and temples in half of the usual time, unlocks buildings. Uh, adopting all policies in the piety tree causes a great profit to appear and holy sites provide plus three culture so we would have a lot of holy sites if we were doing this so you would think that would give you, uh, give us more culture in the end than aesthetics would so I'm gonna go ahead and adopt this plus I want the extra faith I've never really dealt with um, the faith aspect before so eh, let's do it um, and then you see you get plus one faith from shrines and temples here. Uh, temples increase the city's gold output by 25%. That should be nice. 20% uh, discount on purchasing religious units and buildings with faith. So that would be nice for building those cathedrals that we can get. Uh, cities with a majority religion also get the Pantheon belief bonus of the second most popular religion, which would be fantabulous. I don't even think that's a word. Um, and Reformation. If you founded a religion, gain a bonus Reformation belief, which would be nice because then we'll get another one of those, um, you know, um, beliefs that we adopted when we adopted our original religion. So let's go with it. So now we've unlocked piety. That's fantastic. Um, they actually pulled back here, which is surprising, but we're going to can we not swap units? Apparently we can't swap units here for some reason. Is he out of turns? Movement one of two. Oh, he's out of move. Yeah. That, okay. Um, let's fortify. So they didn't pull back. I was just imagining it. Um, our warrior is finally back in our territory. So let's upgrade him. We'll use our last piece of iron to do that. And we definitely need to focus a little bit on the trade routes because we still only have one up and going. We have two available now, so I think we definitely need to get those other two up and running. Maybe 
if this great lighthouse, if we actually get it built, um, which would be really nice, then we'll go ahead and um, focus on some caravans. They lost everyone. That was a really stupid attack on their behalf. We got the Great Lighthouse, which is going to go great with our civilization um, because our civilization can capture military units that are on water, um, specifically like enemy boats. You have a chance of when you fight them that they just turn to your side. Um, I'm pretty sure that's after the combat completes, not, you know, you try to attack them and they just say, okay, hey, we're joining you. But, um, definitely giving plus one movement and plus one sight is going to give us a huge advantage there. So we'll take it. Uh, let's go ahead over here. Let's go over here. I want that rune. Advanced weapons. Wow, that's nice. So now we have long swordsmen here before we can even um, discover long swordsmen. So that's actually fantastic. That's a very powerful unit right now. Um, Let's go back. They finished the Great Lighthouse. Let us work on a... Um, let's see. What what cities are along... Well, we can go to Cape Town. That's actually a good idea. Let's, let's do a cargo ship to Cape Town. So we'll start working on that. Uh, these guys have been upgraded, so let's send them back out. land those guys there just for the time being okay so these guys are moving in these guys are definitely a bigger threat because they're attacking down onto this guy uh, this guy is not a very big threat since he's coming across the water but before we do that maybe what we should try to do is swap places there we go so yeah, they used all their moves and they weren't able to attack, but there's no way that this amount of troops is going to take out that they would have probably killed this guy next turn, and I don't, I don't want to lose a guy for no reason, so it's all about strategy. Yeah, see, now they're falling back because they're actually not willing to fight that guy. Uh, we'll hit this guy first, since he's further away. And, of course, it didn't actually kill him, but we tried. Uh, can we hit this guy? That might actually kill him. That This would be the best archer ever if he just picks these guys off one by one. Which he did, so congratulations, you're awesome. Okay, um, finished a granary here. Let's see, what do we want... Shrine would be nice, it's only two turns. I say we do it. Get our faith up even more. Okay. And let's have these guys fortify until they're healed. We definitely don't want to lose them. And we'll go there, even though we know this is just an island, we'll have them rest there. Another Pantheon was found it. Um, not a big deal. That would have been nice though. Plus two science and cities with the city connection because all of our cities are connected. Okay. Okay. Finally connected those sheep. Um, Hmm. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to start building a road down this way just for military purposes. So I'm going to do that. And maybe we'll build a fort where these guys are standing. Um, you should probably... 
Um, let's fortify you. And you can take him out. And then we're going to move up there and take out that barbarian encampment. So our caravan has finally returned. Uh, let's see if we can establish another trade route. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just make some more gold per turn. I definitely don't think it was 30 turns. I think it was the amount of time it took to get there and back. Um, where? Oh, wait. No, there's no ancient ruins there. Yeah, there's definitely no ancient ruins there. Okay. Uh, let's go there. And choose production. So we just finished a temple there, which is good. Um, let's see. Probably an aqueduct would be a good idea, but let's do the other caravan. Um, that way we'll be back actually up to our three trade units that we have available. So, And they finished a shrine here. Um, Let's start working on another settler. I don't want to. I think the time has come where these cities are actually capable of supporting themselves and can start pumping out settlers to expand our civilization again. Not that we have very much place to move since above us is all tundra uh, and below us is kind of taken up with city states, but we'll find some place. Um, let's head that way. There is some pretty decent land right over here. It's kind of far away, but I think we can make it work. Especially if we get uh, Bucharest on our side. Probably pronounced that wrong, but. Better is bread with a hat. Okay, so we got currency. We're working on drama now. Uh, still saying that we, there's an ancient ruins there, but there's, there's definitely not. So. Nice, another barbarian encampment. Um, yeah, there's no real point in going down there, so let's have these guys fall back. Kind of whittle away at those guys. This guy will continue to heal. Yep, figured there'd be barbarians over there. Actually, I think those are the barbarians from before that we never took out, so. Oop, unit needs orders. Um, yeah, go ahead and. You're safer on land than you are in the water. These guys have been promoted. We'll take barrage, even though it won't help us in this situation. In general, it should be the better choice. Okay. Mm, we don't really stand a chance against these guys, but let's hit them anyways. There's not much else that our scout can do. Plus, we can heal, so we might be able to whittle them down eventually. Get over here. Yeah, we need to start building up a navy, I think. Um, and I would like to put a guy up here, so... A settler, rather. So I think that'll be the next move that we make. So we got the Oracle, which gives us a free social policy, which is great. Um, we'll pick that in a second. But let's take 
these guys down first. Apparently those are throwing units, which... No. Okay. Uh, adopt a policy. Uh, well, we don't quite have enough to, to purchase any units with that, so let's do this so we'll get more faith. So we were getting 8, now we're getting 13, so that's pretty decent. Okay, choose production. Um, we just finished the Oracle here. I don't think we'll get Terracotta Army if we try it, so no sense in wasting that. Uh, this city does have quite a bit of people in it, so I think that uh, the market would actually be nice. Um, but let's do Temple first, get some more faith going. I'm not going for a religious victory, but if it happens, it, it happens. So, yeah, that's going to be the last attack for these guys for a little bit. Um, and we could just honestly alert on these guys. That way, no barbarian camps can spawn down here. And take out that camp. Bucharest. We're currently friends now. Um, which will make moving units through there a lot easier. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Next turn. I'd like to get some settlers over here, possibly. We'll see what exactly is over here, but definitely one right here. And possibly another one over here, so... I guess we'll soon see. Uh, that's less than what I was hoping for, but uh, it still might not be bad. It might be worth doing just to keep other civilizations from building right there. And there is some iron over here, so it wouldn't be a complete loss. Let's see. Well, we've got deer, so that, that's decent. At least we would be able to get some food. Uh, I, I'm kind of interested in what's what's going to be down here, just to see. Um, finished granary. Let's have them... See, another settler would be great, but if we put one here... If we build one here, rather... Um, there's not really any place for him to go. I mean, we could feasibly build something right up here and get these resources. I think that's actually a decent idea. Let's do that, because otherwise what might happen is another civilization will build a base here, and that will be a complete pain. So I'd rather, you know, put a less than optimal base in than let another civilization come and... You know, for example, our buddies down here c come up there and throw a base down, and then we have to deal with them, and it's, it's just a pain. The same thing here, I'd like these borders to expand, because right now I think somebody could throw a base down right in the middle of here. Uh, we're not going to do that, of course, but I think somebody could if they wanted to, which is not ideal. Um, Yeah, this is going to suck. I'm pretty sure we're about to lose this horseman. But um, if we do, it's just a scout. And uh, I guess it'll be sad since we've had him this entire time. But okay. And we'll next turn it up. Let's see what happens. that. Oh, somehow we're still alive. Well, good job, Scout, I guess. Alright, so... Let's take out this first. Although this would be a much easier attack. I'd rather kill this so they can't keep producing units. And 
if we move here, we'll still be defended, so. There we go. Choose production. Finished a cargo ship. I want another settler. Let's see where this cargo ship can go. Establish a trade route with Cape Town or Manila. Manila gives us more gold, so. Sorry, Cape Town, I was going to trade with you, but that's better. Actually, that should be done <laughs> really quick since it's so close. Um, so we might have another chance. Um, another barbarian encampment, and there's whales down here, so it's definitely going to be worth putting a base here. Not so much up there, though. believe that those guys are still alive while well, he's not anymore. There's no way he's surviving that. Yep, he's gone. Eh. A civilian was captured by barbarians? Where? Why was he? Um. That is my fault for letting that guy um work up that high, but we should be able to capture him back relatively quickly. Uh, I didn't even think of that. So, um, so who wanted a road? Wittenberg. I hope that's this guy. Ah, it's Bucharest. Wittenberg is over here. Um, and that's not a bad thing to do, actually, because we want to build a base over here anyways. So building a road to him kind of just makes sense. Um, but since I don't really have any s villagers close, that guy's kind of the closest. I'm going to go ahead and just purchase one. I know it's kind of expensive, but in the long run I think it'll be worth it. Uh, they finished a temple. Let's have them build a worker, or a settler as well. And a worker for you. So now we're kind of getting into the stage where there's a bunch of places where I want to expand. So I'm going to spam settlers and workers for a little bit. That way I can capture all this land. Uh, then we'll have to build up more military. So it's kind of like phases. You go um, settlers, workers, um, then military to catch up. Or you can do it. It, you could do the military first, but then you run the risk of overextending yourself and going into the negative gold, so um, you just gotta be careful it's kind of a balancing act um, they've got a monument now let's see kind of want something there's not too much good, we might as well build a shrine here because not that much going on in this city to be honest at least until it starts expanding so let's do that and you can see it already captured those deer um, the problem is all my workers are already busy so we need we definitely need more workers at this point um, let's try to take out that ship first so it doesn't cause us a headache uh, and we'll bring these guys down to support <sighs> All right, and we'll start on that road next turn. Those guys should be almost done healing now. Manila is under attack. What is drama but life? With the dull bit. This life so we've advanced to the medieval sure. era, which is good. Um, I don't really care about tourism, to be honest, so we're going to skip that little tutorial. Um, 
I'm kind of worried with our cargo ship that's going back and forth, saying that Manila's under attack, but I think it means by these guys. So, um, maybe we don't have to worry too much. It's going to be a pain chasing these guys down, because I think they're going to just keep running. And we don't have any more military units over in this area. So, unless they get within range of the city, which I don't think they'll do, I think they're probably going to cut up this way. Um, it's going to be a pain to chase them down, but we'll make it happen. Uh, let's see. Choose research. Open the technology tree. Um, trading posts would be good for those areas of desert that don't have anything else on them. Uh, I don't think we really need to focus on that. Forge and workshop would be fantastic because that'll increase our productivity. So let's go with metal casting. Um, as far as like the tourism goes, um, you can get that view from the cultural overview. It kind of just explains this. Basically, you can have certain things like we we have the great library. So if we get two books or two great works um, of different books from different cultures, so one could be ours, one could be uh, our friend down here in South America, um, and from different ages, so like the Renaissance and the Middle Ages or um, whenever. It just as long as they're from different cultures and different ages, you'll get a bonus to uh, theming, and that gives you a bonus to culture. So, but you can see right now the culture, um, I mean, we're not doing too bad. This is, this is all our cities here, but we're making some pretty decent culture. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you want to explore the, the realms of tourism, uh, the cultural overview is definitely where to go. Uh, I don't plan on winning a cultural victory, so I'm going to kind of ignore it. Uh, is this guy on a hill? He's not. So it really makes more sense to get accuracy for this guy. Uh, and since there's so many ships, we've got to start picking them apart, because otherwise they'll take us apart. So we'll take him down, then we'll focus on them, and then that way. Uh, and if we can get this guy over in range, he can start helping. Okay, so we have our worker here. Now, they wanted a road, so let's do Route 2, and we'll put it to right here. That way we can bring it up to our city next, and that's where this settler is going to be going anyways. Um, okay, we're going to build a fortress here, but na that'll be next turn. And I didn't actually mean to advance that turn, but that's okay. We'll take one more turn, as they say. See where that barbarian ran off to. Yeah, I knew it. He's gonna keep running. But luckily we have roads here. Um not that they're doing as much good. And I don't think we have enough gold to produce another unit. And that guy's just terrorizing the countryside over here. But yeah guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. So, uh, next episode, hopefully we'll get our worker back here. Um, and we're definitely, you can see, we're producing settlers in a lot of our cities. So we're definitely going to be expanding again uh, relatively soon. So, uh, until then, guys, I'll see you next time.